Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, a sensation that everyone of us may have felt. So this topic is on that whenever we go for a bath, uh, we think that we also need to go for a pee. Yes, this is the topic. Whenever we take bath, we think that our bladders are full and we need to go for a pee. So why does that happens with us? I have two ways to explain this. To explain the first way, I first need to explain you how our kidney works and how does it form urine. So our body have two kidney bean like kidneys and each kidney has numerous functional unit. These functional units are very small and they are known as nephrons. Nephrons have a capsule like structure which is known as Bowman's capsule in which it has a glomerulus. Glomerulus has a number of blood capillaries, a network of blood capillaries which, is, which has a high blood pressure. The blood pressure is high because we need to filter blood. Here the blood is filtered out and uh, various solutes and solvent from the blood is just absorbed into this tubular structure. So what happens that due to high blood pressure, uh, many salts like uh, sodium, potassium, unwanted drugs uh, or over drugs and over excess water is just absorbed from the blood into this tubular. A tube like structure and it forms a tubular fluid. The absorbed water and other salts are then transferred from the proximal tubule to the Henle's loop, then to the distal convoluted tubule, and finally into the collecting tubule. This collecting tubule from different nephrons collectively throw this tubular fluid into ure ureter from where we feel. Uh, pressure of urine. If the ureter is full with tubular fluid, we feel a pressure and then we go for urination. Okay, so this is how a kidney works. But while passing this tubular fluid from proximal tubule to Henle's loop and to distal convoluted tubule, there are uh, peritubular capillaries located there which have blood in it and if the body feels that excess of water was just absorbed and just transferred into the tubular fluid our peritubular capillaries just reabsorb water or salts according to the need of the body if they are not needed they are not absorbed if they are needed they are reabsorbed from the tubular fluid so Coming to the main topic, whenever we go for a bath, many of us feel cold while just going to take a bath and this uh, releases a lot of hormones into us and then we feel a high blood pressure. So. Uh high blood pressure in our arteries and veins creates even more high blood pressure in the glomerulus that ball like structure in the kidney and because high blood pressure more of excess of water is just absorbed into the tubular fluid and because there is a high blood pressure in uh, arteries and capillaries the peritubular capillaries do not absorb excess of water or solutes into them and it is just thrown into the collecting tubules and from the collecting tubules it is just thrown into the ureter and you feel an instant urge to go for a pee at the time of bath. This was the first way. That could be another way too. The second way could be adaptive behavior. Why an adaptive behavior and what is an adaptive behavior? An adaptive behavior could be whatever you learn from your surroundings is your adaptive behavior. It is not innate. It doesn't come uh, into you from your parents. It is just adaptive. Whatever you learn from your surroundings. So what type of things can you learn from surroundings? Okay, just remember when you were an infant, you cannot remember that because at that time, we didn't have that much of memory intake, okay? Our neurons were not that much developed. 
so when we were in phase our parents took us to bath what we do whenever water touched our body we used to urinate okay because we didn't have senses but whenever the water touched our body we just urinated so that behavior could affect us till this day that when we go for bath we feel an urge to go for pee too so this theory is uh, not my theory this is paolo paolo's theory you might have heard about it i may pronounce it in some different way paolo's theory the person who explained the adaptive behavior in dog okay whenever the school bell rang the dog used to know that okay this is my lunch time and it its mouth starts to watering like its mouth start salivating okay that yes i'm going to get my lunch oh i'm hungry i'm hungry because it was he was used to it he was used to it. actually he's not he because the dog was used to that time table and he started salivating uh, as soon as he just heard the bell ringing so this was paolo's theory that was an adaptive behavior which we could also have in us from our childhood so this second way was just my thinking but the first way i tried to explain it scientifically if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe if you really haven't subscribed yet subscribe for more interesting facts and if you are from science i give many lectures on tutorial lectures on biology also comment your feedbacks in the comment section if you have interesting topics to be discussed then uh, you're most welcome to comment down and okay we'll see you in the next video see you till then take care